Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Touch Ninja. We are once again back playing some LA Noir. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. No, I didn't. We are starting off the traffic cases. Once again, going for that Folks, five star. There's a crime happening somewhere. Go find it. Working on it, man. I'm working on it. Hey, isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? You betcha I am. So, one of the main reasons why I decided to replay this series is because... Ooh. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Rakowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant and fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home. Did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? Yep. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. We're not going to that. So, another, other than just experiencing this game again, this time in 4K, I mainly replay this game because I'm in the process of testing and... I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. <laughs> Review and testing some new 4K equipment. So you probably noticed in part one there was like a minute of audio loss where the audio of the game just cut out. That's just it's what it is. <laughs> With testing the equipment, you get some issues. I'll just do a better job of, re of monitoring the audio from now on. So if the audio does cut out, I'll just replace it with some gameplay because you can replay cases in this game. So yeah, not it's not a huge deal. You don't need my live reactions because I've played this you game. You giving right me here. the hi hat? Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. <laughs> you don't say. Pop her open. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Oh, I remember this case. Don't think this is anything. Go to this side. Same thing.
32 years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Back out for a second. Hmm. Happier times, I guess. She has like that evil look about her, doesn't she? And it's genuine leather. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Okay. Then we got the bloody pipe over here. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay. Music has stopped. I'm time means it's time for the interview and the shakedown of the bystander here. Who's a nice guy? He's just calling it in. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. That straight face. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Truth. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? <laughs> Bad cop. Doubt. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Truth. Or I can accuse him just to be an ass. <laughs> When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah. I got this. Okay. Let's go notify the wife. I'm going to drive a couple more times. Reading you from Los Angeles, California. KGI Radio. Enjoy their 620 banter. Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. I'm gonna 
Yes, officer, you see how major 415, 1624 West 3rd Street, 1624 West 3rd Street. Any Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, Phelps. It doesn't add up. No, it doesn't. When you get your partner to drive, you still go through the car. Uh, I'm pretty sure you still get the car drive there because there's a lot of conversations. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. Oh, <laughs> you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, Phelps. And who needs a Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? I'm discovered. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Mikowski. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. <laughs> I like Bukowski. I think he was my favorite. You know we've partner. got a siren, Phelps. Fine. Fine. Yeah, I really miss Bukowski. Spoiler: Once you promoted, you get a new partner. So yeah, enjoy him while you can. We are here. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Knocky, knocky. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Go outside first to the kitchen windy. We got ourselves to fit a metal pipe. A little faster, Phelps. A little faster, Ming. No use leaving the thing half finished. No, down there. I can't be right. 
Oh, come on, Phelps. There you go. In you go. My toddler years are finally paying off. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Okay, done the reconstruction. Head back inside again. Now we go look. Oh, there's a newspaper here. Cut scene. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Shooting up. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. <laughs> yeah, problem? Drugs. Drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Just do them. Do them all. You see anything there? No, 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 stay inside, Phelps. We got. There we go. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. I don't think that's an actual clue, though. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Head upstairs to the bedroom. Well, oh, never mind. Bedroom's over here. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. <laughs> ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Another matchbook. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Where's the phone? I'm all right now, detectives. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. 
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Okay, the music has stopped. We got all the evidence. Let's do our questioning. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Straight faced. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Truth. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. All right, so I was monitoring my recording and it, it did flash a little bit there, so... Um, Lost that little bit of video. Alright, so I'm constantly monitoring the recording of this 4K equipment and it kind of flashed a little bit there. So I had to stop the recording and restart it again, but I don't think anything was substantially lost there. So I just have to live with the flash for a second. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on. The joys of technology, ladies and gentlemen. The joys of technology. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. That's a lie. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. Concealed massage. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. That's truth. That's the truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Okay. Now, we're gonna go visit Kavanaugh's bar. I'll let my partner drive this time. Yeah. 
In we go. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Mm, maybe I will drive. I have a feeling there was more conversation that could have been left in there. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. I can't decide <laughs> between someone. the tuna no, fish don't. and the chicken. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. That cherry pie was delish. All right, Frank. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Tim, the tool man, Taylor. He's a writer. He can't really help me. Any ideas? All right. We need to find Frank Morgan. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. <laughs> if you didn't understand the last reference this guy played... Tim Allen's brother in the show Home Improvement back in the day. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. <laughs> okay, don't worry, man. I got it. It's a lie, okay? I get it. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Lab hog. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He, he wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where is he? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I doubt that, man. Actually, he's pretty good. Pretty straight-faced. If I hadn't already played this, I wouldn't be kind of stumped. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Mm. He just Play it by the book. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. Okay, I'll drive this time. I like our banter. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from Technical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE Freight Depot is not human. Not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. I was actually impressed that back in the day they could actually have the technology to determine the swine blood. There's no DNA evidence back then, no fingerprints. 
Oh, there was fine blood. Oh shit, they come right at me! Okay, but... God damn maniac! That's why you get for driving down a one-way street. <laughs> You're all over the road! Check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. Up we go. Two is over here. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. Do it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Don't make me fall no point running, Adrian. How'd it go? Ugh, don't break an ankle, Phelps. Your suit is too Mr. beautiful. Mr. Black, get back here right now! Stop right there, Adrian! It's over, Adrian! Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. What a little dweeb. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. Nice. Got all the clues, got all my questions correct. Five stars. Valorous, baby.